figure and I just made that video about vacuum sealed beverage containers, tumblers. I figured I'd talk about my quote unquote favorite ones. Favorite dozen of these. I've had a bunch over the years just because they're super popular. It seems like in the last 10 years they've really started to take off these stainless steel double wall containers. Start off with this one. So these are just some of my favorite ones. And uh, I used to kind of collect these. A lot of people do. There's been a big thing with Stanley thermoses that have some kind of viral thing. So I don't have many Stanleys, but but there are some videos of like some pink Stanley uh, tumblers, stainless steel tumblers that people were like Black Friday rushing the store for. So. I just kind of like these Stanley double wall ins vacuum insulated uh, pint cups. It's got three of them and it's just a standard cup. They're actually not bad. Thermos is who really popularized double wall vacuum insulated, semi vacuum insulated containers all the way back in like 1903 or something. That's where the Thermos brand came from. They didn't invent this type of known as a flask. Some even named Dewar did for cryogenics for holding things like liquid nitrogen, helium, that type of stuff. But some German brothers started a thermos company because they realized more than a century ago that it works great for beverages. So these things have been around forever. Stanley has really been their brand has been known for the big green, you know, glass internals. Uh, you know traditionally called a thermos, the big vacuum flask. So it's neat to see how far they kind of, there's various sizes of these for tall cans. This is for standard 12 ounce cans, but they have these little vacuum flasks. Some have threaded, some brands have threaded tops. Some have like this Zach has a, just a kind of a big thick silicone piece, which I like better. Holds the can pretty well. And that's the whole point is just to keep a canned beverage colder or <laughs> or in some cases warmer for longer and I thought that's kind of an innovative uh, newer idea for vacuum flasks a million different brands this is a hydro flask brand I kind of like this uh, as a general purpose coffee mug I always thought this is kind of the more job site one because it has this over mold on it that's like a semi soft flexible um, and I thought that would just protect it. This thing would really last is beating around in pickup trucks and falling off of tables and that type of stuff. Just with that heavy duty over molding it actually makes it a, quite a heavy cup. I saw it for a heavy duty <laughs> contractor grade uh, little coffee mug tumbler. This is actually a pretty durable design with this you know big plastic boot that or rubberized it's kind of in between hard plastic and rubber but this big boot protective boot there's the one I decided just to do a dedicated video I thought I had but I didn't before it was this uh, uh, B bottles one this is the most overbuilt one I've ever run into forgot to mention in another video that it's really heavy extra thick wall this one has double seals in the lid like stainless steel fasteners little detent for the handle like none of them have detents and then it has this whole section that unthreads up the bottom also double sealed that's for putting tea and berries for like infusing water but it's the still the craziest water bottle I've ever seen like this it's much more expensive to include all the double sealed design this whole bottom portion it's more expensive to make the bottle have threaded ends and necks at uh, both sides, but certainly makes it easier to clean up. There are heated ones. This one is a 14 ounce. Over the years, there have been various heated tumblers, but this is probably the most elegant design. It just has this piece that sits in a cup holder. I have a there's a USB -C, little USB C cable plugs into the bottom, wraps around this channel, so it'll slide down into the cup holder. I don't believe it is vacuum sealed, but certainly double walled because we have stainless steel interior, hard plastic exterior, and then there's just some pins that contact these uh, terminals at the bottom. So this is just plugged into a USB power brick or into your 
a port in your car and when you put down the cup you just put it in and it actually is designed to lock into the base but you can just set it down and just give it a twist to make sure it drops down and it'll actually keep your beverage warm and I like the fact that it's this whole separate unit which is easier to wash you don't have plugs or wires or anything going into this it's just simple and it actually works quite well in vehicles and as far as all the heated ones this is probably one of the best that I've run into I forget which brand this one is something I can't even read it I do have a couple novelty tum it's not really a tumbler this is one of those novel super novelty uh, 64 ounce whiskey flasks I mean if you're gonna do with I mean it's a completely sealed stainless steel flask it's a real flask it just is a massive 64 ouncer and still is hilarious if you're gonna do whiskey might as well do it out of a 64 ounce flask and that is not double wall that and as far as like regular tumbler water bottle tumblers I know that the SIG brand the Swiss ones have been a name for water bottles for a long time really well made um, usually sold at like camping stores and stuff and I don't know about this copper or brass I don't know if that's an antimicrobial thing a lot of people don't wash their water bottles enough and the big deal is isn't just mold growing in the bottle because you haven't washed very often but also because all these not this particular one but Pretty much all these tumblers all have these seals and stuff gets built up in the seal under the seal and you've got to pull it out stretch it around some tines in your dishwasher either way you got to remove that seal and clean it and clean the space under it should have mentioned that earlier but that's where mold comes from it's the only place it can hide because i you know put these all through dishwa uh, dishwasher and you just have to pull off the seal but as far as this traditional water bottle tumblers it's hard to beat these cigs they've been around for since well before water bottles were popular but i guess they've been popularized since the 1900s it's just you have all these different designs nowadays like this one which is a national firefighter corp one and i thought this was interesting because it's a double wall vacuum sealed tumbler even has like a little rubberized uh, base but it looks like a red solo cup looks like a red college um, beer kager solo cup but it is actually a genuine double wall vacuum insulated mug and I kind of like that the way the top kind of sits more flush and just thought that was an interesting design the red solo cup style this brings me to one of my other favorites which is this Zach but this one is a beast 30 ounce so you want to get a soda with ice and have it stay cold or a, a coffee large enough that it might actually get you through most of the day. I just, uh, when I saw this, I decided to pick it up because it's like a tapered, you know, 16 ounce coffee mug style tumbler, but it's nearly twice the size. It's a 30 ounce. It's just this absolute huge <laughs> beast of a tumbler. Always get funny looks at the coffee shop when you bust something like this out decided to mention this one BYO bottle that's all it says on it but I thought this was intriguing this is just a water bottle double wall and for the initially when I removed the cap I on just like anything else I'd unthread it looked at it and said there's no threads in here and couldn't figure this one out it has this big plug this is actually because it's like silicone it has like some kind of plastic peg that it is slipped over and when you put it on and you kind of hold the plug and you twist the cap it causes that peg to expand and now the lid is locked on so it's actually this locking friction fit lid and as far as rare cap styles they're pretty much all threaded but I kind of like this one because it's just simpler because it's just a, a little fraction of a twist to put the cap on and off and holds pretty securely and has this really wide plug so it really isn't going to leak or anything and I thought that was pretty intriguing getting on towards the end there are these this is a 64 ounce they make even bigger tumblers 
But I thought as far as high quality ones, surprisingly enough, this doesn't have any markings on it whatsoever. Uh, but it seems certainly high quality. Pretty thick wall. And what I noticed, which seems to be kind of an exception, is it's all stainless steel except for the seal. A lot of times it's plastic inserts in the caps, but I was actually kind of happy to see that this one is just 100% all through stainless steel and kind of caught my eye for that reason. And the last one to talk about is there's also been a trend of these glass bottle versions. Really delicate. Many of them have silicone or in this case some kind of neoprene uh, boot. But this one kind of set itself apart. I thought it was pretty premium because as we can see it's double wall glass. And I've seen quite a few of the, and I actually have a few of the glass water bottles, but none of them, in this case, would be semi-vacuum, so they'd suck some or most of the air out, but not all of it so that there isn't a big inward pressure just to, to make it a little bit safer for glass ones like this. But thought, wow, this one definitely is gonna work. It doesn't even have anything touching at the bottom. It's all suspended at the neck stainless steel ring and this also set it apart as that's a genuine glass lens in the top in the lid and somehow they've just sealed it around the lip at the top I don't know what this little internal ring is for but I thought as far as fancy water bottles are concerned uh, double wall glass with a glass top lid this one seems pretty fancy and all it has is this kind of, I don't know what that is, if that's a brand name or what. I mean, it is silk screened on there, so that must be the brand name. But just thought this is probably one of the nicest glass ones I've seen, especially considering that it has this boot that it comes with. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching, especially in my weird videos talking about my favorite vacuum tumblers. See you next time.